my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Today we are here with another Camp Camp episode. We are watching season four, episode 13, Campfire Tales. That sounds fun. It sounds kind of like a, like a potentially spooky episode, you know, like some scary, spooky fire, you know, like the, the hooked man. There's only a hook left, you know, like those things. Um, which would be fun. I'd be curious to see what this episode is about. But, of course, everybody, please keep in mind to support the official release of Camp Camp over on the Rooster Teeth website. That is the best place to watch it. And without further ado, let's get started. <sighs> I couldn't have asked for a nicer night. When I feel like this, there's no better way to pass the time than telling a few spooky stories. Yeah, spooky scary. If you can handle it. That's precious. You're like a marshmallow in human form. Wait, ah! does that mean we're cannibals if we make s'mores? Cool. You'll just huh. have to see what you think after you hear my story. <clears throat> okay. That was rather fitting to put the intro there. <laughs> I've never practiced this. <laughs> It was on a night like this when a few teenagers went on a fateful joyride. Ooh. Watch out! Oh, quartermaster, no. Well, let's dispose of his body. But don't worry, my father is a billionaire, so we'll all still get into Harvard. Oh! But wait, if we don't help him, all his organs could fall out. Also, covering up a crime would totally ruin my five year plan. Fine. Okay. Right <laughs> Wanted to thank you all. Many a folk would have left me for the raccoons. Take this tome <laughs> of arcane wisdom oh. and enjoy. I'm late for my coffee date. Okay. Did you get rid Good of luck. It? I wasn't wearing anything under that cloak. Yeah. Also, reading expands your mind. I think we can learn a oh. lot from someone with his age and wisdom. I really like their outfit. Nikki's is really cute. I the like it. Day. Oh boy. Look out. Don't oh. worry. We're just here to offer helpful life advice. Chew gum while cutting onions to stop yourself from crying. Also, our oh. souls can't rest until you really? complete an important Wait, task. no, but like, is that what true? What do you do, respected elders? Clean your rooms. I don't cry too much, but like... Hooray! I've always wanted to be tidy. I can invent an organizational system just like Melville Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? And what about you? Eh, I don't want to clean my room. What if <laughs> I said, please? You've convinced me. So that's why you should be kind to strangers. Listen to your elders. David. And always say please. David. I thought it was supposed to be a spooky story. What's spookier than not saying please? Gwen, oh my gosh. Why don't you tell us a story? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, come on now. No, Gwen, we don't want any of her fanfic. Well, maybe we want some fanfic, but like they're just swell. <laughs> you really wouldn't want me to read those. No. I got a tale for you. <laughs> it's a tale of woe and fright. Sure to put a chill through your bones. Oh, quartermaster, you please no. On those virgin chests. Jesus. Oh, really? You were alive during those times? Blimey. These cherries have us outnumbered, but nothing is impossible when I have trusty Ridey here. Yes, indeed. Served me well for 22 years, this hand has. Oh, my God. To come back to my darling Mildred and caress her gentle raven hair with it. Oh, my God. Mildred, huh? Where did I hear that name before? Now I remember. Definitely from the German side. What? Kept bad mouthing her. Uh, they know my Mildred? If Mildred is the bow-legged lady from Sussex. <gasps> How dare! My oh, Mildred's gosh. legs are as straight as Percy over there. Mm, yes, ah! quite. <laughs> well, that's 
she killed it all right. Germans kept saying her hair is stupid too. Not her glorious raven hair. If they talk like that. Oh my god, is this how you get his hand? He's lying six feet under right now, tarred and feathered. Quite right you are, darling Mildred. I shall defend your honor, my love. Ah. This body's coming along nicely. Still looking for Lefty. I feel like this raises more questions than it answers. Yeah, I would agree. Maybe. Did I hear something about tales of injury? Why are you here? Oh. Why are you here? No, go away! We told you we don't want you here! Okay, away I go with my story. Oh. Once upon a time, there was a very good boy who always tried his best. And that's uh -huh. the plan, Ben. Any questions? My narcolepsy acted up and I missed pretty much all of that. Can you oh, Jeremy. Oh. No, Jeremy, I told you to pay attention. The presentation was four hours long. <clears throat> you know what? Why don't you just get Oh, lost? God. We're all sick of your gross face and weird issues. Oh, just go no. find a kid that actually wants you. Funny. His only fault was that people did not like the way he looked. It was hard for him to find acceptance. Ow. What are you doing oh, out no. here? Sulking in a mire of despair. What looks like yours? I can't say I blame you. Lucky for you. We're experts at makeover. Oh god. Oh no. I don't I don't know about this girls. I I advise against this. Girls, please. You guys look soups gorge. Is it my turn for a glow up now? Oh. Right. We forgot. It's okay, gals. I've seen enough teenage oh! romance movies to know exactly what to do. Watch. Oh, no. Did it work? Oh, no! <laughs> the boy was feeling hopeless and lost. Then he remembered a note his mom I feel so had. bad. Dear Jeremy, always remember how proud we are of you. Your father and I love you very much. Aww. No matter how hard things get, you will always have your family supporting you. And suddenly, he remembered he already belonged to a camp that loved him. Aww. Aww. Huh. Then he got hot. Look at those guns. Are you doing anything later? Or... Oh my gosh. I would have been kinder to him if only I'd known he'd turn out to be such a beefcake. <laughs> oh yeah. I like that the underwear still is like showing. Now it's hey, my turn to spin un spooky and also kooky yarn. Oh great. It is 1980s in East Berlin. No. No. No, we don't let him tell this tale. No, no. Stand that pretentious art with a message crap. Mm? Okay. Nein, nein, please don't erase me. Holy Schlitterbahn, you're alive? Of course I what am. What is happening? I am a creation of your genius mind come to life. My genius mind? You are chain pulling me. Nein, I'm not. Your art is like Hans Holbein the Younger with a dash of of Hans Holbein the Elder. No one understands that reference. Yeah. Wait, hold Agreed. it right there. It's the police, poli-sci, the German police. Quick, you must hide me. <laughs> what the scheiße? Show yourself, Tierberger. Oh, okay. So, Krampus, great shading. Yeah, I would have loved more time to work. Nobody spooks me and gets away without a knuckle schnitzel. Oh, okay. Quick, paint a door. A door? Why? Just trust me. What are we paint, doing? This is my home. I have a dentist appointment next week. A genius like yours is wasted on this world. Come, join us. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. 
Huh? It's just a wet dream where you have friends and people care about your stupid oh. art. Well, I typically relish the squeal of a little piggy. I must say, I felt a real connection to that law enforcement officer. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, I liked it. Jesus Christ! It was what it was sweet. You people, none of you would know horror if it stabbed you in the face. Well, yeah. if it's so easy, why don't you show us how it's done with pleasure? Uh oh. <clears throat> Wait, what happened to Space Kid? Space Kid? Um. Maybe he just. Ah! Oh, hey, hey! Calm down. Everything. Everything's fine. Um, is it? David, is that you? Good morning, campers. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that? I don't know. Just keep running. <gasps> Dicky, no! Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck is this episode? Neil? Uh-oh. This is traumatizing. Oh, from the back. Oh, no. Horrifying. The end. Space kid, what the fuck? Bastards. Don't expect a happy ever after. Okay, uh, Space Kid needs serious help. That was terrifying. Uh, those faces were so ominous and definitely gonna be my sleep paralysis demons for the next couple nights. Like, oh my god. Like there's a Scary with those scribblies, like ooh, I hated it, but I liked it. Um, I like that most of the stories were like not scary, and they're just like really cute. <laughs> um, Dolph's was probably my favorite, just because of just like him afterwards, just like, <gasps> like staring up into the sky, <laughs> like maybe just wants a friend, like only wants, like they're so wholesome. <laughs> But overall, I, I liked it. It definitely was better than episode 12 where we wolf died. Never going to get over that. Um, But this is nice. It was uh subtle. It was just like chill. I like like the spooky stories. It was it was good. It's exactly what I was hoping this episode would be. I like that it was just like everyone didn't have a good one and then suddenly Space Kid just like had a good one, which is probably the most terrifying part of it all. <laughs> I wouldn't mind like getting more of this kind of episode in the next season, like like another campfire tale. I know there's no confirmed next season, but if they did, I wouldn't mind having just like a campfire tale episode as like the staple of every season going forward if they would do more i think it's just a nice episode it's nice to like put our characters in like situations that they would never get to be in being at camp like having them drive do you know go to berlin things like that like placing our characters in situations that are absurd but can be explained why they're there since it's like a a, a reenactment or a portrayal of the story that way uh, it just adds some personality to, to the story. So, uh, I, I would have liked had maybe Gwen started her story too. I think that would have been really nice. Like, I know that I was like, oh no, Gwen, don't do it. But I wish Gwen would have been like, mm, okay. And just start being like, his throbbing and that like, David be like, never mind. <laughs> like, I, I wish that joke was just made. It doesn't have to be full out, but I wish it could have been there. Like, we as viewers know what Gwen is reading and writing. 
so we all get the joke so it's not needed but it would have been nice just to have that like oh no from day <laughs> uh, the quartermaster story was terrifying um i don't I, I think he's serious that that's how he got his left hand i don't know but irregardless terrifying <laughs> So it was a fun episode. I really enjoyed it. Like I had said before, I'm really curious to see where the season will end. Because this is four. So even if we don't get another season, like, you know, we've spent quite a lot of time with these characters. We know, um, we, we understand them all. So as sad as it would be not to get season five, I'm hopeful that maybe season four ends on somewhat of a, a good note and progresses our characters at a point that it would be okay to leave them. Because it's been cool to see Max and uh, David kind of grow and kind of realize that maybe they're more similar than they think. And of course, just expanding on Max, the storyline is really nice because, you know, he's this edgy little boy that's troublemaker. But like, you know, at the end of the day, his parents don't care a lot about him and so that's why he does some of the things he does and that he literally wasn't even signed up for a camp so it's really sad so i would love to learn a bit more about that if possible so we'll have to see so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it please remember if you like this to like share subscribe all that fun jazz comment down below let me know what you guys thought about the episode and i'll see you all later bye